Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's St. Lucifer here, coming to you with the first commentary guide yet on next. I hope you enjoy. There are five phases to when you're fighting necks, and I guess I'll just explain them uh, as they happen. Originally, when you go down, Nex will spawn into the middle, and she'll summon her four majors that appear in the four corners on the map. There's uh, each one corresponding to one of the diamonds you found in the Desert Treasure Quest, the Blood Diamond, the Smoke Diamond, the, uh, the Black Diamond, and the Ice Diamond. Uh, the first phase when you fight Nex is... Uh, the smoke diamond she sits there and uh she'll say let the virus flow through you and uh when that happens uh you'll see players around you including yourself if you're standing near next when she does this starting to cough uh a face mask or a slayer helmet will not stop this uh if you're next to her you are infected with it and uh, what it does is it slowly lowers your stats which includes prayer and uh the only way to get rid of it is go isolate yourself from every other player. If there's, it works like adjacent boxes, like when you're barraging, how there's that uh, three by three square that affects. Well, uh, same rules apply for this. So if you go stand in a three by three by yourself, the uh, cough will go away within two seconds and then you'll be fine. Uh, so if you see her doing that, move away. And if you see your player coughing, just uh, back away for a little bit until it stops. Once you get her, uh, a, a bit down, probably like a fifth of uh, her life points down, she'll say, FAMAS, don't fail me. And this is her first minion, the smoke minion, that is located in the northwest uh, part of the circle. Uh, once that is dead, she'll move on to her darkness phase, where you'll see, if you the closer you get to Nex herself, your screen will get darker and darker. So, uh, uh, and generally, just a tip, ranging this boss is much more effective than a uh, Meleeing. Meleeing does make for faster kills, but you also get tanked much, much harder. And uh, I was doing six mans last night, and we tried multiple, multiple different styles. And the only one that was really successful is when we just straight up range the entire time. So I highly suggest bringing a nice bit of diamond and ruby bolts. Uh, so back to the darkness phase. The closer you get to her, the uh, darker your screen gets. So just keep your distance a little bit. Uh, she'll say embrace the darkness this uh, this doesn't mean anything It's just somewhat people panic when they see her talking But uh, just kind of focus on your feet in this phase because you'll see black dots appear below you and uh, If from the time you see them uh, to about a second later they explode and they can hit up to 650 damage uh, That's the highest I've seen I wouldn't doubt that it could probably crank a 750 but uh the point is to have your clicker maybe a f space or two spaces away from you, and the second you see that black dot appear, click away. Uh, pretty much, you just tank those, uh, step away from them, and after a while, she'll say, uh, Umbra, don't fail me. And this minion is the northeast minion, and it is the, uh, the darkness one. So after you kill her, next will second to last phase. Her third phase is the blood phase. And, uh, what happens there is it's really easy. She pretty much just uses a uh, blood barrage on everyone. Uh, hits really low magic protect with you know Carol's dehyde uh, arm a lot, and it'll usually hit a zero. Uh, every once in a while, you'll see her say a siphon will solve this, and she'll kind of just kind of lean over, and you'll see hit spots will turn purple. The second you see this, immediately stop attacking, click off because anything you hit actually gives her HP. Uh, Every so often, she'll also summon Blood Reavers, which are you also notice is a KC monster. They're pretty easy to deal with. I find uh, just ki just killing them is the probably your best option because they. Uh, well, you're usually going to be. Ma I also suggest Magic Protect if you're range protecting. There's only uh, only one of her phases range, and it's really weak. So I do not suggest ranging at all. I mean, uh, range protect. So just keep your Magic Protect on the entire time. Uh, but these monsters will hit like constant 50s and uh, comboing with necks it can be pretty nasty so all together I suggest keeping your age checked on when you see these blood reavers spawn there'll probably be about four to six of them just uh, have you and your team dispose of them with some diamond bolts instead of ruby because ruby won't spec on them because they don't have that much HP uh, 
So after a while, that phase will end, and she'll say, Kuror, don't fail me now. And uh, that is the southeastern minion. It's the uh, it's the blood minion. So you go down there, XT, and you kill it, and that'll move on to the ice wall. It next creates a, a ice wall that surrounds her, and if you're meleeing, it's good to stand either next to her, or when you see this ice wall appear around her, stand under her. If uh, you're caught in this wall, make sure you eat up the max. When the ice explodes, you're either going to be hit for max, which is a large amount of damage, or it simply does not cause damage. This with a combo uh, can hit you for well over 1k HP. I've been hit with a 970 and seen someone brood up to max and get rough. Uh, so, max in the size phase uh, seemingly has very little defense, so you should make quick work. After a bit, she will say, Glacius, don't fail me now. Have your team move out to the ice minion glaciers and kill it. Now begins the curse phase, starting with Nex activating the Skull Split curse, along with the thermal animation. While Nex has Skull Split activated and is mailing one person, try to tank it out as much as possible so that Nex doesn't use her AOE, which stands for Area of Effect. This way, she won't heal up, hitting everyone in the room. Nex has a cycle in this phase, where she uses Soul Split and switches to melee and flex, and then has no fair after it. Nex seems to have little to no defense in this stage also. When Nex is finally defeated, she'll activate the Wraith Curse, simply click away a few spaces and avoid the unnecessary hit. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this guy. Good luck on getting your very end for